In this video, we'll make a categorization to the posts. A post could belong to a category. Otherwise, a category could has one or more posts. From this explanation, I hope you got the idea about what relationship will be applied for both these models. On the sidebar here, we have a list of categories. A static HTML for now, but we'll change it with data from our database. Once a category is clicked, it would be display post that belongs to selected category. Okay, the first thing we have to do is create a new table to store categories. Let's go to our terminal and create a new migration. PHP artisan make migration create categories table. And don't forget to specify create flag. Now let's open the file. Here we define a column for the category name. Title, which is string. Then another string column called slug. Almost the same thing as slug in post table. And we make it unique as well. Then we need to make relationship between categories and posts. So let's go back to our terminal and create a new migration to add a new column in the post table. You can give any name to any migration, but make sure it's descriptive and memorable. Let's open the file. I forgot to specify table flag when running the migration. So here, it has empty up and down method. I'll delete it and rerun the command again by adding the table flag. Let's open the file. And add a new column as integer column called category ID. In that method, we do the opposite, drop column. We can also define foreign key here. Foreign category ID. It refers to ID column in categories table. On the let restrict, to prevent a category that has one or more posts to be able to remove. And here we also make it unsigned. Now let's run the migration. And we get error here, for in key constraint fail. Okay, this happened because the post table already has some data. When we add the category ID column, this column would has empty value. But then we tried to add a foreign key to category ID column, and this error happened. So this error because the value of the foreign key column can only contain a value that exists in the related table. In this case, categories table, which still empty. So, to avoid this error, we could remove the foreign key definition in our migration. Or we might be made the foreign key column as nullable. Or we reset the data first. The last option may not be good choice if the post table already contain real data. But since here I have only dummy data or fake data, so I choose the third option. I type php artisan migrate refresh command to roll back all migration and rerun them again. Let's see in php my admin. Here the category is table. Now let's see the post table. Now it has empty data. We can rerun the database seed again to fill the data. But before that, let's go back to editor. And in this postable seeder, we could make some dummy categories, then we pass them to category ID here. This could be the easiest way, but I think it would make the postable seeder messy. 
I'll create a new seed for the category. In this case, category is double seeder. I'll make some diamond categories. After that, I'll update the posts. In the post table seeder, I make 10 posts, so that the ID of the post has value between 1 to 10 in ring. So, I'll perform a loop from 1 to 10. Then, in each iteration, I'll update the value of category ID column. I'll change this to post ID. For the category ID, I define here. Because I made 5 categories, so here I made a random number between 1 to 5. You might be think that this will cause foreign key constraint error. Because I let the category ID empty when inserting data to the post, then update it afterwards. That couldn't be happened because remember in users double seeder i have turned off frame key check so the errors will not happen now i'll rerun the db seed i forgot to add new seed in the db seeder i'll run again Okay, the all seeds are executed. I'll see in PHP my admin. Now category ID column has value, except the last one here. Back to editor. And it should be less than or equal. I'll run the database seed again. Check the post table. Okay, great. Our next job is replacing all HTML static with data from our database and filter the post by selected category. And we'll do that in the next video. Here I save all file changes to the Git repository.